Hey guys, welcome to the third part MLCT Precious Metal Recovery. After I melt uh, all this uh, uh, red brick palladium and that silver uh, from MLCT, I have some result. So I want to share that with you today, like I promise. Uh, so I melt everything uh, separate. Uh, just because I want to show you what I get from that amount of MLCTs and uh, let's start so see that first line this very very small little white bead and that dirty silver bead these two is uh, from uh, magnetic MLCTs so I have some palladium this is palladium from that smallest beaker from the last video when I drop with the chlorine gas that palladium see not too much just small small very small bead and I got some silver uh, solid amount but problem is I need to soak that see that it's very dirty this is actually a borax dirty borax so I need to soak that in the hot HCL uh, to remove that borax okay so this is from a magnetic pins this second line this bead and this bigger bead it's a from non-magnetic MLCCs this is our palladium from non-magnetic MLCCs it's pure you see got some little hole in it and uh, very strange shape but it's very very cool little bead from non-magnetic and uh, this bit of silver is uh, also from non-magnetic MLCCs dirty too I need that I need to soak that but I will do that I will do that when I have some time okay this yellow stuff is actually a dirty borax and you can see that uh, from non-magnetic MLCCs I have more silver and more palladium than from magnetic MLCCs see that because uh, magnetic MLCCs contain much more more nickel and of course sometimes it contain lead too and this third bead it's uh, actually same palladium much much better shape see that got some borax on it uh, but that bead I got from my drop with the DMG the metal dioxide and uh, this is from the previous tour MLTTs my old solution or I keep uh, that solution for a long time okay and I drop that and I melt that just to show you the second way how to drop second way how to drop palladium with no chlorine just drop with the dimethyl dioxide DMG okay so I will remove that on side this is important so okay from non magnetic MLCCs how much this palladium weight 0 0.2 gram well not bad see that 0 0.2 gram pure palladium from non-magnetic MLCCs and from the same MLCCs a lot more silver around 6 gram of silver so I repeat once again it's very dirty so I need all that clean the uh, clean in a hot HCL from that borax and that junk okay and let's see from non-magnetic I got that little palladium bead you see how it's shiny but the problem is the weight is too small I don't think so I don't think that my uh, scale can even measure no no from all that non-magnetic MLCCs I have this little bead is not even a 0.1 gram but it still contains some palladium okay 
and silver I have 3.3 gram very dirty silver yeah you see that all that borax stuck on the sides very bad very bad look but never mind Re result is important okay so like you see the non-magnetic MLCTs even a three times smaller amount is, uh, will give you a much more noble metal than magnetic MLCTs because the magnetic MLCTs contain some nickel and some other base metal like lead and uh, some other stuff okay and just see for catch I want to measure how much palladium I have from all this work yeah see that 0 0.2 gram 2 and you see that so together I got 0 0.4 gram of palladium and you see the difference between that two little bead how it's this shiny because he had some borax shiny borax on it and this is pure and clean you see that look very different but both stuff is palladium so zero from all this work I have 0 0.4 gram of palladium but from this from MLCT from this video it's only 0 0.2 gram of palladium and together I have 2.9 gram of silver not bad so what I'm gonna do right now I will take that silver and this palladium I'll drop that in a hot HCL for some time and remove all that borax and all that dirtiness oh I forgot this little bit maybe if I put all that together and put that little bit maybe I have some different amount no it's the same amount 0 0.4 gram okay okay guys so this is just a short video with the result and I hope you like uh, this serial uh, from free video about uh, recovery noble metal from uh, MLCTs and um, of course I hope that you like result uh, I show you uh, two different way how to drop palladium with the chlorine gas when you add uh, in the HCL you add the bleach and you release chlorine gas and with a simple uh, made from bottle uh, chlorine generator you can drop some palladium and uh, of course with uh, the second way uh, with uh, the metal dioxime or a DMG uh, the both way work very fine it's uh, much easier with the DMG but uh, I mostly use uh, chlorine gas be careful chlorine gas is dangerous and you should use a uh, gas mask and do that outside or uh, in the very good uh, ventilated area okay and uh, why I uh, first uh, process all MLCTs and uh, then after the first step I wash dry and crush MLCT and process them again uh, because I want to test uh, is there any metal left in the MLCT after you process all uh, MLCT not crushed MLCT and yes uh, metal stay in MLCT after process so um, you should always crush MLCTs after soak them in the HCL and remove tin and lead you should uh, wash dry and crush MLCT uh, for a uh, next step of processing for a noble metal, okay? Because uh, always metal stay in MLCTs. So it's be a very fun process and get uh, for me very good result, uh, not bad result, okay? Uh, maybe I spend some uh, 
bigger amount of uh, nitric acid but once again I uh, have some cheap nitric acid and for you which pay nitric acid much more maybe this step will not be too too profitable okay but you can find some other way uh, but I use a uh, dilute nitric acid so now, I hope you like this video of course subscribe to my channel almost a 14,000 subscriber almost thank you for that subscribe to the channel like share comment videos uh, and uh, let's try to hit that goal of uh, 20,000 subscriber to the end of this year visit me on the BitTube TV and uh, Bray browser and uh, if you want you can give me some tip there and uh, I, I will see you in the next video I got some treat for you uh, in the next video I will work uh, noble metal recovery uh, from a catalyst converter okay so stay with me and uh, I will give you much more interesting videos in the all summer okay guys Kriandushan out cheers <laughs>